Let's get more on this from Dr. Amang Zana, who's a Burmese academic and human rights activist based in London. Welcome to uh, DW. This isn't uh, Myanmar's first military uh, junta, of course. Uh, are the generals likely to be bothered by these protests? Oh, they will be bothered, uh, primarily because, uh, you know, it is growing in strength and number. And just today, the Kachin Baptist Convention uh, issued a statement uh, basically urging its uh, 400,000 members to join the um, civil disobedience movement. And, and, and I think the, the generals, particularly the senior general may outline, may have underestimated the strength of the uh, new generation's desire to live a, a, a free and democratic life, not, uh, you know, ready to be um, put back under the boot. Well, well, the, and on that point then, so what is it about today's protests uh, the, after this latest coup? What is different about these protests from those that have happened in Myanmar in the past? Well, the protests have started uh, you know, as early as 1962-63, when the Burmese military first uh, stage is a fully-fledged coup in March 1962. But the, the difference between coups, uh, you know, the, the, the real one in 1962 and, and this one, um, you know, on the 1st of um, uh, uh, February, on last um, Monday, and the 1962 coup enjoy a semblance of, uh, you know, popular support uh, because the military presented the uh, justification, um, you know, on grounds of uh, national disintegration. And so there were some worries about minorities, um, you know, separating from the union. And also the economy was in the hands of uh, what the majority considered uh, foreigners. And today, I mean, last week, coup was different. The overwhelming majority of the electorate, of 38 millions, um, you know, gave Aung San Suu Kyi and the National League for Democracy a crushing, not simply a landslide, a crushing victory over the military's proxy. And and the so, other one that's so, also so, important... So forgive me for, for interrupting, but uh, we, we get that. So, so the people are effectively behind the civilian way of doing things. They've had a taste of democracy and they want more. But this is a tricky one for the generals, though, uh, isn't it? Because how do they climb down from this and not get, I don't know, lynched in the streets? Yeah, I think, like, you know, as... If there is no um, exit, uh, you know, a safe exit for a particularly number one general who has become the most, you know, reviled and hated uh, military leader thwarting the uh, popular will, uh, I think, I think we may be, uh, you know, heading to a bloody showdown. And the, the, the public is increasingly strident. And also, you know, once, maybe one silver lining is that the United States has a different, radically different type of leadership in, um, in the White House today. And also, I think that this coup is not even fully supported by uh, the Beijing or, Ch right. you know, Chinese communist leaders, because th this isn't good for them either. And so, okay. that, you know, Security Council call for reversal of this, although it's not binding. Thank you for joining us, Doctor. Dr. Maung Zani, uh, academic and human rights activist.